Hello everyone, Dr. Jack Wolfson here, board certified cardiologist, and just wanna check in into uh, Facebook Live. And I uh, just wanna go over some of the most recent stuff that came out today, again, about kids and myocarditis. Big, big, big time problem with children and myocarditis uh, after they get the shot, uh, the aforementioned uh, shot. So this is a major, major problem and uh, uh, everybody needs to know about it and it's absolutely scary. And the latest report that came out shows that there are, uh, there are children that get myocarditis, they get cardiac inflammation, which is a sign that their heart is being damaged from the shot. And the article in the Journal of the American Car College of Cardiology, I'll put it into the comment section so you can see it. They looked at 15 children, they're mostly boys, and they say that the heart function recovers, but in most of them, but they also say that they don't know the long-term ramifications of myocarditis. So myocarditis literally means muscle, uh, heart muscle inflammation. And we determine that by blood testing that shows enzymes in the blood or proteins in the blood that tell us that the heart has been damaged and the cells release these enzymes and proteins into the blood and we can test for them. That's how we look for people with heart attacks as well. And this is actually a form of a mild heart attack. We call it myocarditis, heart muscle inflammation, but the way we determine that is by the proteins that are released into the blood and they only get released into the blood when the cell is under duress. So something happens to the immune system to attack the heart when you get the shot and doing it to children, I believe is absolutely criminal. Now, if we're looking to keep our children healthy, there's other ways to do it. But again, cardiac inflammation, we have no idea what that means for the long term. We have no idea what that means to the child in five years, 10 years, 25 years. Does it increase heart attack risk uh, markedly? Does it increase risk of atrial fibrillation, sudden cardiac death, congestive heart failure? And that's only cardiac stuff. So the answer is, is that we have no idea what this experimental uh, shot does to anyone who receives it, let alone the children. And why are we giving it to children? They're not the ones who get sick from whatever this is. The children are, are, are healthy and well in most cases. And then we subject a healthy child to this experiment and we're gonna see the long-term ramifications and obviously the short-term ramifications of this. We don't know if it'll lead to shortness of breath in the long term, lead to difficulty with, with running or exercise or daily activities, what it does to lung pressures and pulmonary hypertension. This is an experiment. The children and the adults are being experimented on. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to say it. They're being absolutely positively experimented on and we need to do something about it. And, you know, I mean, obviously I'd appreciate your comments, uh, help you, uh, you know, gather, you know, your way through this. But again, kids, uh, kids don't have significant issues. Are you doing this to protect the adults? Are you doing this for the good of society? That's a joke. That's an absolute joke. We have no idea if this protects anybody. We do know that it can damage children. We do know this can damage adults. I've seen this obviously even in my practice. Haven't seen one death of anyone in my practice, not one. Hospitalizations, yes. Dying, no one. Side effects from the shot, many. Heart attack, two strokes, sudden cardiac death, low testosterone. We get healthy kids by giving them good organic food, a clean, healthy lifestyle, keeping away from environmental toxins and pollutants and poisons. We get them physical activity. We get them outdoors. We get them out of the artificial light. We keep them happy. We have good relationships with our children. We get them out in the sun. 
We get them good quality sleep. We get them off the technology 24 seven. That's what we do. That's what we do. So why, why is your doctor recommending this to the children? Why? Because they can. Why? Because CNN and other news stations told them to do so. Why? Because the pharma rep comes in the door and says, hey, guess what? We're approved for children. Peer pressure. The doctor gets the information from the news media. They're getting it from Fauci. And Fauci gets his information from his superiors. And Fauci's been wrong over and over and over in all of his guidance. That's where the doctors are getting this information from, from propaganda machines. Like a lot of even the medical journals where you read an article and then the next page is an advertisement for a pharmaceutical. All the pharmaceuticals are being advertised on television right now. All the time. It's all about selling you products, selling you pharmaceuticals that you don't need. We get, again, the kids aren't the ones who are getting sick from this. The way to healthy kids is through good food, a good healthy lifestyle. See a doctor of chiropractic. Make the doctor of chiropractic your child's go-to for health and wellness. Your go-to help for health and wellness. Enough is enough already with the poison and the experimenting. And now the American, uh, uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics, they recommend that the FDA go ahead and give approval for five-year-olds up to 11-year-olds to now get the shot. Where do they get that from? These people are scum. These people are evil. As far as I can tell, they don't care about your children. They're not talking about eating healthy organic food. They're not talking about getting them off tech and getting them in the sun and getting them outdoors and getting them happy and getting them sleep and getting them adjusted. They're not talking about that. They're talking about, hey, let's experiment on the five to 11 year olds for something that doesn't even affect the five to 11 year olds. And I don't want to hear about some strange case. Oh, I got a friend who's kid, blah, blah, blah. There's always some horror stories. Show me the backstory on that child. And I'll show you a child who was not eating healthy organic food. They were not getting sunshine appropriately. They were not getting good sleep. They were knee deep in, in eyeball deep in the tech. Surrounded by chemicals, mold mycotoxins, environmental toxins, pesticides, phthalates, parabens, PCBs, VOCs. A child that was just born into the poison. Healthy children have healthy immune systems. And if we support that, that's the answer. That's the answer. So again, what I'm talking about right now is a study that, that we've, we've heard this already, but it's just another study and I jumped on a live to say enough's enough already. And especially when I saw that the American Academy of Pediatrics the vile filth that those people must be to recommend this experiment to five to 11 year olds. Now, if you don't know me, I've got a 14 year old, a nine year old, a three and a half year old and an eight month old. This is the world that they are born into. This is what's going on to their generation. And for nothing, the American Academy of Pediatrics is pushing to inject poison into these children with no idea of long-term ramifications. We know that a significant amount of them are getting cardiac inflammation. That means heart muscle is dying. And it may show some recovery in the short term. Again, we have no long-term about increased shortness of breath, decreased physical activity, increased heart attack risk, increased stroke risk, increased heart failure risk. I see a lot, a lot of people for atrial fibrillation. Could this shot now increase the risk of atrial fibrillation in 20 years, 40 years, 60 years? Who knows? Who knows? You're experimenting on your children and it has to stop. Enough is enough already. Let alone mandates. Mandates to experiment on a child in order for them to get back into school. This is mass, mass hysteria and evil and cruelty at a level 
we've never seen in the history of the world and never seen on this massive scale. So I encourage you share this video, share this information, share your truth with your people because silence is deadly. Silence is deadly. Speak your truth. I speak my truth. My beautiful bride, Dr. Heather Wolfson speaks her truth. So many of us out there and so many of you who are listening to this understand it, but we got to get the message out there. We got to go bigger that this uh, onslaught of, of, uh, of, of really everything, everything in society from the food to the lifestyle, to the technology, to the pharmaceuticals. It is experimenting on children. It is Tuskegee all over again, where they experimented on Afro-Americans. They are part of the experiment. And this has to stop. And I call for it to stop immediately. If you are part of the American Academy of Pediatrics, enough is enough already. Speak to your, your, your leadership over there and say, no, we are not experimenting on five to 11 year olds. They're not the ones who get sick. They're not spreaders of this whatever. Enough is enough already. We have no long-term data and short-term data says it's a problem on many different levels. Stand up for your rights, people. Much love, much love, much love on this morning. Dr. Jack Wolfson, cardiologist at the Doctors Wolfson Natural Heart Doctor uh, signing out. Listen, uh, um, I wish you all uh, the best and hopefully the truth and sanity will prevail.